Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we're driving through St. Andrew and we're going to take a look at the Millsboro area. Now this area, we're now going on to Dillsbury Avenue and it this area has so many apartments, so many townhouses. I don't know if there's another area in Jamaica or in Kingston and St. Andrew that has so many of these complexes on the same road. On the left, on the right, that's all you see. Townhouses, apartments, and they're very nice. Now when you hear that the dam is low or the dam don't have water, it's because when those dams were built, these areas were not so developed and Jamaica hasn't built a new dam for the Kingston and St. Andrew area in decades, years. Yet this kind of development is going on. So naturally this is going to take, use more water basically because it was never designed. When I know there were regular before these apartments were here, and these are massive complexes. These were just regular lots, regular homes on the lot. So where you would have one house drawing water from the dam, they've torn down that house and put up a complex, and you now have 50 houses drawing from the dam. So that's one of the reasons why the dams are always going low and. You hear when there's a drought, you have to have water lock off, but most of these complexes have tanks. But this is nothing. We're going up onto Millsboro Avenue. You're going to see even more complexes. Now look at the road. Look at the road. This area. Easily you could pay 800,000 US for one of those new complexes, new apartments or townhouses. And look at the road. No man, this is this is this is terrible. Keep it here. You have to pay land tax, and the land tax is supposed to take care of these things. And look at it. Look at the road. You have to drive on this road every day if you live here. So can you imagine when you have a thousand people leaving to go to work in the morning, and everybody has to stop to navigate that that road? No, that's a disgrace. And this area, the houses are not cheap, and that is how the that's the state of the road. All right, so on the left and the right, even more complexes. And we still haven't finished yet. This is Billsborough Avenue. Now we're going on to Millsboro Avenue. And you're going to see even more. Okay, so if we turned right, we would go back out to Barbican Road, but we're going to go left and then come back down. Even more. Look at that. Everywhere you look is a complex. If they're not finished, they're under construction. I can't think of any other area that has so many of these complexes. And as they sell them, as they build them, they sell them. This is a very popular area. Actually, I think Millsboro, it's one of the top neighborhoods in Jamaica, and I think it's number three in the Kingston and St. Andrew area. Now, these lots are huge. I mean, you could build here, buy a house, tear it down and build an apartment complex. That just gives you an example of how big these things are. And on the right, that's a new complex going up. Okay, on the left, the address is 25 to 27, so that's probably two lots. And there are a lot more complexes in this area. And they're even bigger than the ones what we pass on this road. We're going to tour it, don't worry. Okay, look straight ahead now and you'll see one of these massive 
complexes I was talking about. So you see this brown gate, okay, you can see the big wall, concrete wall separating the two complexes. And then here is another massive one on the left. I mean, there are thousands of apartments and townhouses in this area, thousands. Okay, straight ahead on the right now is another massive complex. Okay, on the left now I'm going to turn the camera. This is another one. And straight ahead, okay, let's go up. They're building another one, that's where you can see the crane. Oh, somebody was talking about a complex being built in Tavistock. So I'm assuming that that is the complex where you see the crane. Yeah, that's probably it. So. And then here you can see another one being built on a ground level, but the Jamaica Development Infrastructure Program. Okay, that's probably the road. But over here you can see the crane, that's probably the Tavistock. No? Yeah, that's the Tavistock one. And right here where we just stopped, they're building another complex. So this is a booming area. But we're not going to the Tavistock today. We're going to turn around and go back down towards the main road so we can take another look at all the development. We'll do the, a Tavistock video another time. But somebody had left a message asking us to take a tour of the Alright, so we're going back down Middlesbrough Avenue now. So basically at some point, the government is going to have to build another dam for the Kingston and St. Andrew area. The two existing dams that we have, even when they're at full capacity, they cannot adequately supply the Kingston and St. Andrew area with water. It's just too much development and it has basically outgrown those two dams. So that's why we're always having water lock-offs and as when the water level drops to below a certain level, it's all sorts of problems. But the only way to fix it is to build more dams. At least one more. The government is trying to bring more water in from because Jamaica has water and it's just that these areas are so developed in the Kingston and St. Andrew area and this is just an example this area that the draw the amount of water that they use the dams just cannot hold an adequate amount to supply all these areas remember these dams were built decades ago when these areas had single homes on them no, nothing, never had 10,000 homes or apartments in one area. Alright, so that's a work in progress. Now you notice how many yellow license plates are on the right? Honestly, I know we're going to reverse. Oh, we don't have to reverse, but it's like five of them. Five yellow license plates, which means it's a government something to do with the government, five of them. I don't know if it's an embassy or it's a Jamaican government, but it's very strange. Just thought I'd point that out. I found it very strange. All right, so this is Millsborough. Okay, this gate is open, but we won't want to drive in there. Not going to interfere with the people. 
What we're going to do is fly a drone up here. As soon as we get the drone, this is the first place we're coming so you can get an aerial view to see how big these complexes are. But this area has more apartments or townhouses than any other area in Jamaica. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And there are even more. We didn't when we were going up we didn't pass this area and you can see every left right townhouses, apartments. Alright guys, thanks for watching. There is another yellow license plate. If anybody knows if there's there's an embassy or a government entity up here, I don't know what so many yellow license plates are doing up here. I find it very strange. Because where they were parked, it was not it was like under construction. It was outside a construction site, so it's not to say it's a, an embassy or something having a residence up there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.